you come in? Pardon me. Very careless of someone, wasn't it? Dracula's daughter, no doubt. Have her come in off the drain pipe. She might catch cold. Listen to me. I don't know you very well, but you could be a real nice guy. Do you have to do anything as crazy as this? I like convertibles. I think. Be comfortable. The drinks you ordered from downstairs, sir. Put it uh, right here on that table. Oh, yes, sir. Anything else, sir? Yes, we. We want to play a game, sort of a game. A game? Oh, yes, sir. Now, let's see, I need four things for it. I need some, uh, some nails. Some nails, yes, sir. A hammer. A hammer. Then I need uh, a length of good, strong cord and uh, a chopping knife. Uh, a what, sir? Chopping knife that you can borrow from the kitchen. Well, a real chopping knife? A butcher's chopping knife. It's part of the game. I mean, that, that mightn't be too easy, sir. They're going to ask why. They'll probably say, well, they say a chopping knife don't go too good with martinis. You're not going to tell me that at half past eight in the morning there will be a chef to ask many questions, will there? <laughs> no, sir. Oh, uh, before we start, I'd like to present the referee with the keys to the car. The registration papers and the insurance papers, they are right in a glove compartment. Fair? Fair? You sure you want to go through with this? Well, you'll pardon a bad joke, but uh, it's no skin off me. Yeah, I want to go through with it. Stupid. Hey, things are looking up. You got enough fluid in that thing? Yeah, I think so. Cotton's still wet. I think it'd be better to leave it this way than to flood it with lighter fluid. Wick's okay. And Flint's all right. Save it for the World Series, you mind? What's he doing? That's fine, thank you very much. The monster. You think he'd just blown out the candles on a birthday cake? Over here, please. Just for size, if you don't mind. What? I want your left hand to measure it. I think you better sit down. That's it. You may take your hand away now. Yeah, 
It took some sleight of hand in the kitchen for that meat hack, sir. But the other things I had no trouble with. I think I need another drink. Everything is fine. Just what the doctor ordered, huh? Doctor? Who said anything about a doctor? Oh, no, all I, all I meant was... This is all fine. I'll call for you when I need you. And see that we are not disturbed. It's a private game. Oh, yes, sir. I think, I think we're in business. Sit down, please. Now, you understand, you, you put your hand between the nails. That's right. Oh, is that good? Oh, yeah, fine. Real snug. It's the greatest thing since the invention of the rat trap. Here you are. Many thanks. Now, will you please clench your fist? That's fine. Just fine. Except uh, that the little finger should be sticking out. Alone. Mr. Referee, you can give the word to begin. Well, you ready? Uh huh. How about you? I'm ready. You mind keeping count? Let me know how many times I light this thing. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. One. I'll be all right until you miss. Five. You're halfway home.
seven. Carlos! Carlos! Give it to me, Carlos. Give it to me now. Why, Carlos? Why? Why would you do this thing again? I just want to make a little bet. I'm sorry. I am so terribly sorry this should happen again. I went to Los Angeles yesterday, but I knew I should not leave him alone. And I took the first plane back I could get. Oh, Carlos, you should be ashamed. He is a menace, of course. In the islands where we used to live, he took 47 fingers from different people. And he lost 11 cars. It was when they threatened to have him put away that we finally moved up here. How foolish and reckless young people can be just trying to prove they are brave. Yeah, I guess it's just one of those things. Did he bet you a car? That's right. Convertible. He has no car. The car is mine, and he knows it is mine. That is what makes it so contemptible that he should bet with what he does not own. With all his talk of sportsmanship. And you? Me? I just came along for the ride. I'm uh, supposed to be the referee. I'm glad you came along when you did, though. Here are the keys to your car. Thank you. No, he had nothing to bet with, I assure you. Not one thing in this world, because I managed to win it all. It took a long time, and it was very hard work. But I won it all in the end. Venus de Milo got the way she is. By the time the poor old girl won an automobile, it was impossible for her to drive it. Of late, there's been a great deal of talk about pay television. Actually, most of us already have it. And here is the gentleman who makes us pay. I'm not sure what to say. That last commercial left me completely underwhelmed. Perhaps I should simply bid you adieu until next week when my um, sponsor and I shall return with another story. Good night.